Thank you very much. That concludes topical questions, but we have also an urgent question today. Murdo Fraser. Presiding officer, to ask the Scottish Government what support it is providing to those affected by the announced closure of the new school, Butterston. Cabinet Secretary John Swinney. Presiding officer, the decision to close the new school at Butterston is an incredibly sad announcement. It is a very special school located in my constituency that I know very well. Since its foundation by Veronica Linklater, inspired by Veronica's passion to design an educational setting that met the needs of vulnerable young people, the new school has made a significant contribution to the nurture and development of many young people across Scotland. The announcement is particularly sad for children and young people, staff and the local community. The school's Board of Governors have not reached this decision lightly and all concerned are working fully in the interests of the children and young people at the school. Education Scotland convened a conference call with leaders from all relevant local authorities after the announcement yesterday. The local authorities affected have indicated they are actively working to support the smooth transition of all children and young people presently attending the new school into alternative provision. Her Majesty's Inspector has attended the school yesterday and will remain there along with the representatives of the Care Inspectorate. PACE support is also being made available to the staff at the school. Education Scotland will continue to lia liaise with local authorities and the school and will ensure that appropriate support is put in place. Murder Fraser. Can, can I thank the Cabinet Secretary for that very uh, comprehensive response? I, I know he is aware of the shock and dismay there is amongst, amongst staff, amongst pupils and indeed amongst the families affected uh, of those who have uh, young people at this particular uh, school and they'll be very anxious about trying to find alternative provision in the very short space of time that's been made available. Uh, there are uh, young people at the school from a variety of different local authorities. I understand I think there are some 14 families in Perthick and Ross affected. In addition to what he's outlined, is there any specific assistance being offered to Perthick and Ross Council, given the number of local families who are placed at the school? Uh, Perthick and Ross uh, Council obviously finds itself in a, a particularly uh, intense position here with um, the largest number of young people from the local authority um, who are currently educated at the new school and also as the host authority for the school in terms of its wider provision. Um, we have been in regular discussion with Perth and Kinross Council to provide the assistance that they require. Indeed, Perth and Kinross Council have been contributing significantly to the multi-agency team that's been at the new school since this announcement became clear that it was going to be made yesterday uh, to make sure that the support can be put in place. Uh, the focused work that is underway just now, there was a first um, uh, summary conference call about this yesterday, there will be another one uh, at six o'clock this evening, is designed to focus very directly on the needs of every single young person and to make sure that they can be um, supported and educated properly and that their families are engaged with satisfactorily to have confidence in these arrangements because I accept and acknowledge the importance of that family confidence in the arrangements that are put in place. So I assure Parliament of the intense work that's going on focused very much on the short-term educational uh, requirements of children and young people, but then also in making sure that the staff, uh, many of whom have given very many years of sustained devotion uh, to the new school, uh, are supported in dealing with what's a very sad set of circumstances. Murdo Fraser. Can I thank the, the Cabinet Secretary again for, for that response? He will be aware that many of the young people who were at the new school were previously in mainstream uh, education in other state schools and, and subsequently were moved because of their educational needs to the new school. I, is he satisfied there are sufficient places available at other specialist schools uh, elsewhere to accommodate these young people so they will not require to return to mainstream education, which may not be suitable for their needs? I think the, the absolutely fundamental point here is that no decision should be taken about the placement of a young person in an educational setting that is in any way inappropriate for their requirements. So that is the test that must be passed for every one of the young people who is affected here to make sure they are properly supported and that their families have confidence in those arrangements. Now that work is underway as we speak. Um, there will be different elements of provision that are available and we need to go through a dialogue with individual uh, parents to make sure that they have confidence in those arrangements and uh, I assure Parliament that that work is actively underway and is engaging all of the local authorities that are involved in the education and care of the young people involved. Ian Gray to be followed by Mark MacDonald. Thank you. Uh, given what we know uh, about the reduction in numbers of ASN specialist teachers, uh, in schools generally across Scotland, 
Uh, how will the government ensure that any young person who does move from the new school into mainstream education will get the additional support that they need? Debbie, first I, I think it goes, it goes without saying that if a young person is being educated at the new school in Butterston, it is a more expensive educational provision than if they are being educated in a mainstream setting. So uh, at, a, at a, a very direct and blunt assessment of cost, the, the provision at the new school is more expensive than mainstream schooling. So for local authorities that are affected, there will be resources that can be reallocated to make sure that the test that I set out in my earlier answer to Murdo Fraser is passed in that um, the decisions that are made about the educational provision for young people uh, are made to address their own circumstances and that must be the absolute, uh, the, the hard question that's asked in all of these circumstances. Mark MacDonald. I have this afternoon spoken with a constituent whose son has a diagnosis of ADHD and autistic spectrum disorder. <clears throat> the family had visited Butterston last month for a tour and to sample some lessons and had been due to visit last Tuesday for a three-day, two-night assessment. This was called off at short notice, citing staff shortages, and had been due to be rescheduled for next week. The family are now questioning whether the gravity of the financial issues was known to the school while they themselves were being shown around and prepared for assessment, and they hoped placement. While I recognise the first priority will be to support those children uh, currently accommodated at the school, can ask what support might be available for families such as my constituents who are working towards placement but now feel that they are back to square one. I'd, I'd be grateful if Mr Macdonald would share with me the specific circumstances of that case because I think I, I've had another case of its type where a young person w had essentially been accepted into um, the new school in Butterston and due to be commencing education there this coming Monday and obviously the arrangements are now in some uh, well, are, 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 are very different as a consequence. So if Mr Macdonald would share those details with me I would happily um, include those in the work that is undertaken uh, under the coordination of Education Scotland to make sure that the needs of every young person can be met in these circumstances. It, it's uh, no secret that the new school of Butterston were looking for new owners um, and that process had been underway and the new school were confident that they would secure new ownership to provide the type of um, leadership and direction that the school required and to enable it to provide the type of educational facility that Mr Macdonald's constituents would want to see available. Um, that has not been, uh, that, that arrangement has not been successful and that is what has uh, essentially precipitated uh, the closure announcement. These are very regrettable circumstances but I assure Mr Macdonald that I'll do all that I can to try to address the needs of his constituents in that respect. Thank you very much and that concludes the urgent questions.